Previously on. Yeah, this will be gone. We'll have a lovely one in the wall. Yeah. Shelving, shelving. <laughs> okay. There we go. Two of five floating shelves done. Uh, yesterday I went to B and Q, picked up this plywood, which I think is twenty-five by thirty-six mil. Also picked up. Well, I had a couple of screws, but I picked up more screws this morning to finish them. And also these bolts as well, which are 8mm, if I remember rightly, and 80mm long, as well as wall plugs for these as well. These are like bolts, so I figured go for bolts to make it a fair bit stronger. I learned a fair few bits along the way. So this one here was the first one I did, and I assembled it as you see it, and then slotted it in into the wall. I don't know if you can see, but there's loads of like little nicks and I smack the bit up here. Um, don't do it like that. On this one, I learned from the mistakes and also from Lauren's thoughts. She recommended I try this. So I took this off and then I put the bracket on without that. Uh, it went in so much easier, it's obviously so much lighter, it's so much easier to hold and then also put in the bolts. Maybe it's overkill but I want it to be safe, I've gone with eight bolts in total, two on the sides and then four through the middle as well. Doing the holes in the wall was a bit of a challenge because I only had this drill to begin with, just like a, a uh, what do you call it, combi drill, multi drill, whatever it's called, uh, on the hammer setting. No word of a lie, it took me about five, 10 minutes to do one hole. Uh, and when you've got eight of them to do, that takes a while. So I did this one yesterday with this drill. Just go out and get a, a proper SDS drill. Or like a hammer, I think that's what they're called, SDS drill. So I went to B&Q this morning and I picked up this one here, McAllister, it's 50 quid. Um, I must admit, I do quite like Ryobi tools and I would love to be able to afford to buy a Ryobi tool, but uh, I can't, considering the Ryobi one's probably like 150, maybe even more. I don't know what they are, I didn't actually look. But yeah, 50 quid for b &Q. comes with three drill bits, a 8, 10, 15, I think it is, and it took five seconds to, to do the holes. So if you are, building any of these or doing anything in brickwork because we have brick and concrete walls just get one of these it make your life so much easier uh, and it's definitely worth it next steps are to well probably paint to fix the bits that i broke um i don't know if you can see this but we need to get this painted do the white undercoat and then paint the whole of it blue and we'll do the same thing up here need to do three on that side, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. The only reason I couldn't do those at the moment is B&Q didn't have the wood in stock. They only had five pieces and I took all of it. There is another B&Q a little bit further away, so I might go and try that one later on just to see if they have any, because I would quite like to get it done. It's also a little bit wider on that side of the, uh, of the room. Then once those are all done, get some plywood and I'm going to do mitered cuts around it so it looks like it flows around, looks like it's one whole piece of wood. And then I think we're going to go for a kind of darkish wood, sort of walnutty kind of looking, not, this is just pine, uh, not whatever wood this is supposed to replicate. I don't know if you can see the TV stand down here. Um, not to replicate that, but slightly darker. And then I guess if we don't like the wood look, we could potentially paint it blue or we could paint it white. A few different options. side done as well. So I had to go to Wix in the end. B&Q seemed to stop selling the stuff that I used on that side. Uh, annoyingly I couldn't find anywhere else that did 36mm width wood, so I've gone with 38mm. Um, but Lauren prefers this wood, don't you? She thinks yes. it looks nicer 
and actually wants the shelves to be this kind of colour. So I said earlier that we were going to go for a kind of walnutty sort of look. Scratch that, we're going to go for a kind of like darkish oak, dark to light oak, I don't know, an oak kind of look. I was also going to be doing a kind of mitre thing around here. I'm not doing that anymore. I think for sake of ease, I'm going to go with plywood on the top, about 12 mil, plywood on the bottom, like five mil, something like that. Doesn't need to be too structurally sound on the bottom. And then on the front, I found a place on eBay which does, I mean, really wide edge banding, but I guess whatever size I need, I'll do some edge banding on here and then we can stain it to be our desired colour, which will probably be kind of oak look anyway. Really pleased with how it looks. It's really bringing the room together now. And then if we pan over to here slightly, this is the fireplace. So looks very much like the kind of inspiration that we had. We're both super pleased with it. Uh, unfortunately, Dot also really loves it as well. And she keeps on jumping on it. That's not her, that was me. But as you can see, there's little paw prints where Dot likes to jump. Um, and she claws it as she climbs up. So we've bought, what's it called? Rock top. Top rock. Rock top or something like that. Rock top multi-coat. Rock top, rock top clear multi-coat. That stuff. Uh, we bought some of that which is a clear coat to go on the top of this. So just to give it a bit of added protection so we don't have to paint it every two weeks <laughs> when little lady here jumps onto the fireplace. Next up I have as, as I mentioned earlier, I have next week off, so it's, what does it say? It's Saturday today. Uh, Sunday I will take a break, we have some plans for Sunday, but from Monday, which is bank holiday, uh, we can start doing the plywood on it. I'm probably going to have to get it delivered purely as I don't have a big enough car to be able to collect two and a half metre long plywood but we'll grab some plywood from probably Wix, I think is the best value, but I'll have a look for what is the best value. And then we can pretty much complete these. And then the next step, I don't know when we're doing this. I can't remember if it's September or October we said we were doing this. September, if By I'm the not end mistaken, of September. yeah. By the end of September, I need to have the cabinets on the bottom done as well. But yeah, I think that's probably gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you enjoyed this slightly different video. I know it was very me heavy, this one. Lauren didn't want to get on camera this week, um, but hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time.